And the power lines, they're going to be affected by down trees and the wind and looking ahead to that ice that Natasha's talking oh, about. Yeah, that ice is on the way. We are checking with power companies working to keep the lights on. Brandon Thompson in the studio. And Brandon, thousands of people were already without power today. Yeah, nearly everywhere across Portland has been struggling with outages and clusters of them. PGE outages are down to just over 6,000. They were up to 14,000 at one point and around 4,000 customers have had power return in the last 45 minutes, but it's the far east and far west getting the worst. We've been watching the west of Portland and really there's been a lot of outages concentrated along the TV highway. There were around three or 4,000 earlier in the day. The last time I checked, there were just a couple hundred on the west side. Then when you look to the east county, out to Troutdale and south of Clackamas, those outages started showing up mid morning and have also gone as the day has gone along. We saw a uh, 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 lease down there on division. There was a power outage that was over a thousand customers. It was down to a hundred. So hopefully there is some progress being made there. And that is important because the brunt of the storm has yet to hit. Power crews working to keep the lights on. And always the commitment is to get as many folks back with power as quickly as possible. This tree falling on a home off of Southeast 92nd to this tree blocking a road and hitting power lines in the West Hills. Outages from wind and down trees have left thousands across Portland without power. Here it's kind of the precursor to something that we expect to be uh, you know, more involved. The ice and precipitation is yet to come, bringing harsher impacts to the power grid. Those branches catch a lot of moisture and that creates a lot of weight. It also, it's, it, it's just going to break a lot of the branches. And when that happens, that's inevitably going to send a lot of debris down onto our lines. Pacific Power, Clark Public Utility and PGE say they prepared extra staffing because of the storm. They can tap each other or contractors for extra resources if necessary. Big outages require even bigger efforts. They say be prepared for an outage with this storm. Have coats and blankets ready as well as food that does not need to be cooked. Warming up and charging phones in your car can be an option too or calling friends and family to stay there. But Multnomah County Public Health says stay away from burning gases or propane in your home. We know that emergencies like this carry a risk of carbon monoxide poisoning when people use um, those uh, fossil fuel based uh, heaters at home without proper ventilation. Um, and carbon monoxide is considered a silent killer because it is an odorless, colorless gas, um, again, that, that can overtake people uh, who aren't prepared. The utilities do invest in tree resistant line and do work over the summer to take down hazardous trees and branches, but arborists say even healthy trees can snap in these kinds of conditions. Go ahead. Yeah, and Brandon, I, I want to say like a lot of the stories you've done over the past year have been about our trees. So from mm -hmm. being very hot to very cold, they've been through a lot, especially in this past year. You've noticed that. Yeah, there's ice storm in 2021 that stressed a lot of them out in the heat mm -hmm. over the last two summers and come this time of year, it starts to show.